And welcome back, this is Bella Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I am joined as always by Fei Fong Wong, Bart Bartholomew Fatima, and Ellie has joined our party today. I did rearrange the gear setup just a bit. I gave the well tall and eight frame HP 30 instead of the AR plus 5. I did give a seal HR to the Anvar instead of the, uh, the AR plus 5, I believe, was on him as well. And the Vierge, I gave a C barrier, E circuit, and power magic. What I'm really going for is that ether amplifier, as you can see, I got it up to 22. And I do have the, uh, the ether doubler on LE. Just in case. Just just trying to emphasize the point. She is my mage. Now, when we last left off, we were inside Nissan, and we had parked the Intercell somewhere around here, but it's gone. It no longer likes us, and it just ditched. And, yeah, there's the mausoleum right over there. What do you know? But we need to head over here first. Oh, hey, what do you know? This is the perfect time. Wait, everybody's all hurt. What the hell? Go back and heal them off screen or something. Uh, this is the perfect time to show this off. If you, uh, if you use a fire magic on these guys, they will give you a hob stake. Let's just do a for now. And, uh, where is it? Thermo cube! Launch the cube of thermo! That wasn't QB at all. And down it goes. If you kill him with the fire magic, and I believe both of those count as fire magic, and you get more experience. Whoop de doo, Terra goes learn. Oh no, um, so only Ellie's counts as fire. You get a hob steak instead of the regular hob jerkies. Many, many people pointed that out to me. So I did want to show that off. It's just not that important, if I'm being honest, uh, because there are hardly ever any character dungeons. It's mostly gears, so I'm not too concerned about HP restoration on characters. Okay, so speaking of HP restoration on characters, let me go heal and I will be right back. Alright, here's roughly where I was. It's not too important that I get exactly the right spot. But here, we need to go to Ignis's Gate Cave. And hopefully there will be... Oh, wow. Okay, so we automatically get into our gears. Here's our first chance to look at Anvari as like a sprite on the, the dungeon. He looks a lot better, I think. That hole wasn't there last time. You probably, you probably blew it open with the Bart laser, dude. We've got Neo Eton's head our way. This is a scripted fight, so I will keep this in, of course. There's survivors from the last battle when we took out, like, three of them? Was it three? It's hard to remember. Alright, so, um, for this one, I'm just, just gonna do regular attacks because I do have the Anvari with me. I'm really, I have to have the Anvari with me. Really? We're not healed up? Are you kidding me? These guys aren't healed up. What happened to the all magical healing cutscene? What the hell happened to that? That thing's still not dead? Oh no, it launched fire at me. Holy crap, that is pretty powerful. Seal! This is why I got the seal AR, seal barrier. Yeah, go ahead and hit Ella. For no damage. It's the beauty of that. Alright. Heart smash! Shouldn't be able to finish this off. 1200 damage. And, uh, let's see what we got. You got the boom coming in. And if that wasn't enough to kill it off, which I don't think it is, we've got the Death Blower. So we get to use Spark Wave! Oh, holy crap, this thing does so much more damage right now than it ever does. It's not even close. Thermo Largo learned. Yeah, she's going to be learning stuff every, every battle. We get two Seal ARs. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's alright. Seems like they were waiting for us. Wonder if we'd come first if we had stepped on it. I don't know what you're trying to say. Regardless, we gotta go on. It's going to be an internal embarrassment if we let them get away. And we won't let them get away right after I go back and heal up the gears. Apparently, I need to do that. Alright, all healed up in my gears, and it's time to move on further down the dungeon. I don't think there are any random encounters in this dungeon, so that's not something you need to worry about. 
Nothing else here, no treasure or anything, so let's just go through the door. This is the K generator. It's very generatory. I wonder what's going on. You must have multi view. Many, many views of this generator. Punk. Not only was he sitting on the Ave throne, he also controlled this. What? Shows up. Shikown! To think he knew about the existence of the gate. Very interesting. The gate which divides Solaris from the Earth was under the supervision of the ethos. In the beginning, it was supervised without any true knowledge of what it did. However, over the years, the ethos did their own experiments to reveal its true nature. They learned how to use it. For the sake of freeing ourselves from Solaris, we discovered a new way of using it. What is that? He's... Okay, well it is a generator, so I guess that would work, but... Oh crap, his robot went Super Saiyan. You. This was your original intention. Through this cavern, he just wanted the energy from the gate generator. Transformation complete. Something's not right. What is it, Ali? This can't be. This is ridiculous. This thing should be able to pull an adequate amount of energy from the gate. There shouldn't have been any problems in the design. Why? Because you suck. Why doesn't it move? What? Did you mess up? If my father knew I was set up by a jerk like this, he'd turn in his grave. I didn't need this anyway. I'll take you myself. Do you not desire the power? Anybody? Any guesses on who's going to show up now? What? Who? You guessed it. It is Groth. Him again? How do you get in here? He is magic. I am Groth, the seeker of power. Dost thou desire the power? Power? What kind of power? I have the power of the gate. As long as I get this machine to move. Your powers are merely superficial. The tools in which you produced with your immature intellect. Now, do you think you can win? No, no, he can't win. What are you saying? Superficial power. The meager efforts of you land dwellers are insignificant next to the true and only power. I shall endow you with my true powers. My fist is the divine breath. Blossom of fallen seed and draw upon thy hidden powers. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious mother of destruction. So once again, the guy never said yes. But Grav gives it to him anyway. And now it's boss time against Shakaun. It's been a long time coming. First things first time. Good booster. I forgot where booster was. It's on the right, not the left. Start absorbing gate energy. Damn you. Booster myself up to victory. Okay. Oh, no. Air rods. Let's do that. Because air rods are awesome. And there's no reason to not use them. How much damage do they do? 2400, give or take. Can't reach to hit you, because he sucks. Alright, let's just do our most powerful attack. How much does that... Doesn't do crap. Which is why we keep using air rods. And their long animation, but that's okay. Because it does damage that's worth the time spent on it. 
another almost 2400. He still stupidly tries to reach us, but he can't because he sucks. Alright, let's see what we can do here. About 500 from the Envar. He tries to counter, but he cannot do it. And he's absorbing good energy. He absorbs a thousand. That's okay because I'm doing way more than that with my air rods. Oh, I forgot to do something. Alright, that's fine. Another 2300. We still cannot reach. Poor, poor. Okay, so we need to use Yin Power. Now, it it's glitched. I, I have no other way of saying it. It's glitched. It does not knock down your defense. It only knocks your your attack up. So let's go ahead and use it. Attack up, defense is not down. It lies. Let's go ahead and do Spark Wave. This is probably going to be my most powerful combination for him right now. 1900 damage and... Ugh. I don't get it. Why is he... He's absorbing gate energy. Oh no, another thousand in. It will not save you. Oops. Not that we, we could look at these anyways. Detonate fire attack. Uh, water attack all. Uh, that's all she's learned. Oh. No, she has learned uh, wind and earth as well. So she does have all her elemental ones done. But we need to launch the air rods again. We need to take out Shikown in his wrecking ball of non-wrecking so far. I mean, seriously, what has it done? It's done crap. 